waiting patiently. I've been waiting not so patiently, but we're gonna start picking corn today. Combine's pretty much ready to go. I gotta throw this field view drive in the cab. A couple things to do with the auger cart yet. After we get all this taken care of, we're gonna move over to dad's house. That's where we started planting corn. It uh, three weeks ago tested 25%, I believe. So we're hoping it's down at least 20 or less. If so, we're gonna roll on that. We've got some beans getting close. Maybe tomorrow or the next day they'll be ready, depending on if we get any rain or not, but stay tuned. We've gotta move these two tractors out of the way. Auger cart's already hooked up to the 8430 in the back there. We haven't got it out yet just because it kind of takes up less room crammed in the back of the shed like that. So we just decided to leave it there. Not sure if I can get the auger cart out without moving this wagon, but I'm gonna try. That was easier than I thought. All right, we got everything greased up, aired up all the tires. I'm taking the auger cart and the tractor over to Dad's house. Dad's got the uh, corn head on the trailer behind me. He's right there, if you can see that. But we're gonna drop this stuff off and then go back and get the combine. Got the tractor here at Dad's. Right over there was the first field we planted. That's where we're gonna start. Um, that field over there, we had to, that's where we got rained out at. So there's some in the middle that got planted later. I don't know if we'll maybe open it up and see how wet that is. It looks awful green out in the middle yet. So we probably won't be able to pick that one. We can pick this one and the one behind the barn maybe. That'd be a pretty good day. And then after that, we'll probably switch to beans maybe tomorrow or the next day. Got to swap some of these hoses on the auger cart. Some of these are in backwards.
these and float, you cannot get them connected. That one's good. That one popped out again. Way more complicated than it should have been. Give this a go. That trailer's in my way. I'm gonna go move it. Well, that's not right. Well, something happened with the clean grain elevator. That shouldn't spin like that. Nice. We literally didn't even start and this belt shredded. Wonderful. usually how the first day goes. They get all the bugs out. Well, I'm just sitting here waiting on a belt. Grandpa went down to the deer dealer to get one. Might as well catch up on some YouTube. Got the new belt. back on let's try this again actually made it to the field this time, shelling some corn. So on this side of the head is our patch of sweet corn. There's not really any ears left on it, I'm just going through it to shred it up. That way we don't have to uh, look at it the rest of the year. 
Well, the moisture is saying 18 to 19 percent. If that's the case, then that's just about right. We'll just haul it right to town. Won't even worry about putting it in the bin. We'll uh, save the drying facilities for the wetter corn because I'm afraid that we're going to have some wet corn this season. But what do you do? It was all planted late and we just deal with it. opened up which is what I'm doing right now is uh, it can be a little tricky sometimes it takes a while You've got to uh, open up the end rows open up the corners it's uh, kind of tedious but what do you do well it looks like Sadie's watching me grab a quick sample and send it to town with grandpa So if this corn was actually 18 to 19, that would be just about perfect. Get out here and see if I'm losing any kernels at all. So we got a noise in our unloading auger. It sounds like flighting dragon on something. We're gonna fold it up and unfold it and I don't know, figure it out. Maybe I hit a tree branch on the way over here and fell in the grain tank. I don't know. Yeah, now I don't hear it. Oh well. Alright, so the moisture sample said 26.9. That's wetter than I thought, but um, we're going to pick a decent load, take an actual load into town, and see where we're at from there. Well, our plan didn't work out. Our plan to harvest all the corn in one day, that is. Now our plan is to just get one load to town, see where the moisture's at, and then make our decision from there. First auger cart load of the year. Let's see if Dak can make a mess. Dad's taking that load to the elevator. We're gonna see what the moisture is. If it's 26%, we're definitely not gonna run on this because 
it's 70 degrees the winds blowing there's no humidity it should dry down some more and to dry down corn from 26 percent down to 16 is extremely expensive so we definitely don't want to be taking it out at 26. if it was december or late november it'd be a different story but we've still got some time we might as well let it sit in the field it's standing so we'll see what he says well the load tested 23.4 percent moisture we're going to go over to another field and open it up um, i'm sure the moisture will be the same we just want to get everything opened up that way when it's dry enough we can just go but it's a little wetter than we'd like to see so um, yeah that's what we're going to do well, I just had to watch a YouTube video about how to do a yield calibration on the combine because I couldn't remember how. YouTube's pretty great. Alright, so we got 58,000 pounds harvested for our yield calibration. Uh, what that does is it calibrates your yield monitor. So this combine is set up to tell you what your yield is while you're going through the field. You gotta calibrate it every once in a while. We usually try to do it a few times throughout the year. You can never get it perfect, but we at, like, we at least like to get it close. I'm gonna dump this in the truck. I don't know if we got time to take it to town yet, but he'll get the scale bushels and what it weighs, and then I'll type it in here, and then we'll be calibrated. That looks to me like about 79,980 pounds. Yep, not a single pound more. I guess I'm gonna take the load to town. It's all right, I haven't driven a truck for a while. Let's see where the moisture's at. I think it was a little wetter back in that field. I don't know why, but it's all planted the same day. probably just quit for the night um, I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow we talked about switching over to beans if it's a little damp in the morning we might run some more corn and then switch to beans we got to get our auger set up to put the beans in the bin and figure out what we're gonna use for a tractor so we got some messing around to do in the morning before we can get rolling all right well that was harvest 2019 day one didn't get a whole lot done but at least we're started anyway um, I believe tomorrow our plan for now is to try some beans. We'll see what the weather's like. Yeah, the corn's just a little bit wetter than what we'd like to see it. We were hoping it'd be around 20 or less, but it's running 22 and a half to 24. Gets a little costly to dry it at that moisture. Might try some beans tomorrow, see what they're like. Uh, there's a few guys running beans around. Um, I'm thinking they, sh they should go. I think they're ready, but Anyways, I, uh, I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try and pump out a bunch of videos for harvest. Um, I don't know if I'll do one every day, but I want to try and at least do a couple a week, and we'll see what I can do from there. Also, to all my farmer viewers and those driving in farm country, stay safe, use your head, turn the machine off if you need to work on it. Just be safe, and happy harvest.